The circuit cutoff switch is a wonderful and simple solution to deal with the electric field exposure we find on the bodies of most people in the bedrooms. Live wiring in the walls produces electric fields regardless if electricity is used or not. So turning appliances off at night makes very little or no difference at all. This can be a constant stress to the body and influence the ability to rest and regenerate optimally. Okay, so this is the situation normal uh, in all the houses without a demand switch that you have uh, the current on yeah, the wire. Yeah, electric yeah. fields. If you have the light on or off, it doesn't matter. Um, so we have to uh, find a place and figure out First, we need to investigate which and how many circuits are burdening the sleepers. This is part of our home assessment process. Once identified, we know how many switches are needed and on which circuits, and an electrician can then install them. The circuit cutoff switch monitors the flow of electricity into a circuit. As soon as no power is being used, which at night is easily achievable, and for example, turning the last bedside light off the switch effectively cuts the power to the circuit and the associated electrical fields and other radiation from the wiring is eliminated. Now we activate yeah, and uh, <coughs> when we shut the light off, so go to sleep, it takes about one to two seconds and uh, now we get the um, electricity off the bed. It has the ability to sense if some things are switched back on by you. At the time, the circuit cutoff switch instantly allows power back into the circuit as if it was there all along. When usage stops again, the power gets cut again and so on. If I turn the bedside light off, which is the last device on that circuit using electricity, the circuit cutoff switch is going to realize there's no request for power and it's going to cut, um, cut the supply of electricity um, to that circuit. Now we'll be able to monitor that with that check light over there. Light is off. And the power is cut. A check light will reveal if the power was indeed cut or if something on the circuit is still drawing power. In which case you are reminded to turn that appliance or device off. The only thing that can be tricky is electricity consumers that use so little power, like small LED light bulbs, that the circuit <coughs> cutoff switch doesn't realise that they have been turned on and the circuit is not then reactivated. When this happens, you simply have to turn something else on that does trigger the release of the electricity into the circuit. Homes do have some things that need power all the time. And so, on that basis, they really can't be left on the same circuit. If they are on a circuit that needs to be guided by a circuit cutoff switch, then they need to be supplied electricity from another circuit that does not cause a problem in the bedroom. There is often power close by on a different circuit that can be tapped into. Items that do need power all the time are, include alarm systems, smoke alarms, fridges, freezers, garage doors with remote control operation, outside lights with sensors, heating, cooling, pumps and spa bars, uh, to name but a few. Remember, these are only a problem if they're on the circuits affecting the bedrooms. So they're not always a problem, and certainly not all the time. Lighting circuits in the rest of the home are great to install a circuit cutoff switch on as well. Think about it. You use the light maybe two hours a night, but for the rest of the time, all that wiring through your house is oozing electric fields. It cleans up a home wonderfully when these are cut off when not really needed the rest of the day. The use of circuit cutoff switches in a home is a great solution, but please understand the correct circuits need to be identified, otherwise you are not achieving the best results that, you're, that will be worthwhile. <clears throat> our consultants will be delighted to assist you. You can find us on our website. Thank you.